Okay, we are recording. Welcome to Thursday Split Strength, lower body. Let's grab one heavy weight, and then we're gonna grab a set of medium dumbbells, and then we'll get started. We'll have a two and a half minute warm up here. Let's start with a nice hip opener here. We'll get all warmed up in our legs. We are going to have two rounds of work today, four exercises per round. We're gonna repeat the first round twice, and then we're gonna go to the ground and repeat our second round twice. Let's do some glute wake up. Our second round of work is gonna be all on the floor, mainly focused on glutes, so gotta make sure those are awake. First round is all about squatting. So we'll work both sides of our legs. Awesome. And then let's move through a lateral lunge here. Opening up the insides of our legs. Make sure our toes and knees are pointed forward. Beautiful work. We'll do one more on each side. And then we're gonna move through a squat. We're gonna add an arm circle backwards. Arm circle, one at a time. Nice work, everyone. Get that heart rate going. We'll do one more on each side. And then we'll do a lovely hamstring scoop here. So kick stand that leg out in front of you. Pressing that leg down to meet the ground. Opening up the back side of our legs. Each round of work is a little bit under a minute of work. We have 20 seconds in between for rest and then a 45 second rest at the end of each round. One more on each side. And then we'll grab our weights and get to the first exercise. Okay, we're gonna start with our medium set of weights. We are gonna go just a normal squat. Option to have your carrying for a suitcase carry here or on top of your traps here. We'll get started in three, two, one. are over those second and third toes. Neutral back. Using your glutes and your quads to stand up tall. Nice job, guys. 20 seconds left here. See if you can sit a little bit lower in that squat this time. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Beautiful, okay. Next exercise is gonna be a curtsy lunge. Again, option for a suitcase carry or up top. I'm gonna go suitcase carry. We're gonna step out to the side and behind, and then we're gonna squat down. We'll start in three, two, one. Alternating sides. See if you can get that knee down low. Hips stay pointed forward. Try not to let those shoulders come up into your ears. job guys 20 seconds left ten more seconds keep it going chest is tall three two and one good work okay we're gonna set down that medium set of weights we're gonna grab our big guy 
We're only gonna use this guy for one exercise. Sumo squat, goblet hold. Wide stance, weight is in the knife edge of your foot, the outside edge of your foot. Straight back, lowering, lifting. Let's go. Using the back side of our legs to stand up tall. Our glutes contract at the top. Again, weight is in the outside edge of our foot. Take your time with this exercise. Don't rush it. Take it at your own pace. Twenty seconds left. Back is straight up and down. Less than ten. Three, two, one. Beautiful, okay. Setting that weight off to the side. Last exercise of this round before we go back to the top. It's gonna be a body weight squat hold, tapping out to the side. It looks naive, but <laughs> we're holding for a long time. Let's start in three, two, one. Option for arms at heart center or on your hips. We get a little bit of a cardio burst here too. Option. Also, swing your arms. Can you sit a little bit lower? Really activating those quad muscles. Halfway done, keep it up. Toe tap to the side. Option just to hold a squat hold here. Good work. Three, two, one, done. Okay, end of our first round. Good work, everyone. We are gonna stay standing and repeat that round again. So shake out your legs, grab a drink of water. And then we'll start back up to that squat. So maybe you wanna grab some new weights, some new heavier weights. We'll get going here soon. 10 more seconds of rest. Proper alignment, we want our knees over our second and third toes. Weights come to the ideal position you want. Let's go. Standing up tall. Glutes and quads are active. We are a little bit wider than hip width distance. 30 seconds here. Try not to lock those knees as you stand up. 15 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Woo! Option to keep those weights where they are. Or put them in each of your hands for a suitcase carry. We are gonna go back to those curtsy lunges. So that foot steps behind you just a little bit as your both of your knees bend to lower like you're doing a lunge. We'll start in three, two, one. We're alternating legs. Chest is tall and proud. Shorter blades are back and down. pointed forward in the front. See if you can get that knee almost all the way down. Fifteen seconds left. Three, 
three, two, one. Woo! Okay, set those weights down. We are gonna grab our big weight. Two more exercises left in this round. And then we're on the floor. Five more seconds. We'll start in three, two, one. Wide legs. Sumo squat. Making sure we have a straight back here. Try not to arch in your low back. More seconds left. You got it. Last weighted squat exercise. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Okay, set this on the floor. We will be using that for our floor series. Okay, body weight, squat hold with taps. Option to just hold that squat down low. We'll start in five seconds. Three, two, and one. Tapping sideways. We're getting that heartbeat up. Sit a little bit lower. Toe touches out to the side. Arm movement provides a little bit more cardio. Halfway done. Sit lower. You got it. 15 seconds. Sit low. You got it. Last exercise on the... Standing up. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Well deserved. 30 second break here. Okay. We are going down to the floor. So make sure your heavy weight is on the floor. We're gonna be using that for some hip bridges. So our first round of work will be on our hands and knees. We will do our donkey kicks first. So imagine there's a box surrounding you. You don't wanna hit either of the sides. You wanna hit the back corner. That's gonna be our donkey kick glute need raise. We'll do that on both legs. So one round on one leg and then switching to the other. We'll start in three, two, one. So this whole time that we're working here, about 50 seconds, is just gonna be on one leg. Again, right here, check in with your shoulders, making sure they're over your elbows and wrists. Your elbows aren't locked out. You're just lifting that leg until you feel your glute engage. Great time to also check in with your core. Slow and controlled, 15 seconds left. Then we'll switch legs. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, okay. We'll switch sides here. We'll do it quickly. Okay, let's go. Up and down. Same thing, just on the other side. Check in with your neck position. Make sure you're looking straight down in front of you. Lifting until you feel that glute contract. Slight core engagement. Pull that belly button up to your spine. Halfway done. Ten more seconds. Keep it up. Three, two, and 
one. Okay, next exercise is going to be a fire hydrant. So lifting up to the side, making sure that glute is engaged. I like to have my knee a little bit behind my other knee here so I can really feel that proper glute engagement. We'll start in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Lift and lower. We want to make sure both of our hips are pointing towards the floor. We don't want to be opening up. Again, whole time work time is on one leg. Then we'll switch. Halfway done. Keep it up, guys. Check in with your core. Make sure it's pulled up and in. Check in with your elbows. Make sure those aren't locked up. seconds. And we're switching. Sorry. Three, two, one. We're going to switch to the other side. opening that hip up till we feel our glute engage at the top. Remember to bring that knee a little bit behind your other knee. That helps with getting out of our hip and into our muscle. Bring that core up and in. Neutral back, 10 more seconds. Let's go back into a child's pose here. Stretch those glutes out. Okay, guys, we are going to go make it our way to our seat. We are going to do a hip bridge complex. We're going to use this weight for our first exercise. We're going to do a weighted hip bridge here. And then we're going to put our weight off to the side, do body weight hip bridges, then we're gonna pulse, and then we're gonna do frog hip bridges. So, nice hip bridge complex coming here in five seconds. Get ready, plant those feet. Three, two, one. Weight is on those hips. That's why we have this nice big old weight here. Slow and controlled. Protect that low back. Bring that core in. Halfway done, keep it up. Weights in those heels, making sure we engage our hamstrings and our glutes as we push up to the top of our hip bridge. 10 more seconds, then our weight comes off in body weight hip bridges. Three, two, one. Okay, set that weight off to the side. We'll start in three, two, one, hip bridges, body weight. Contract those glutes as you stay up to the top of that hip bridge. Twenty seconds left. Then we're gonna go into some pulsing. Keep it up. Ten more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay at the top of your bridge. We are going to pulse for thirty. Up and down. Join me here, pulsing. Keep 
it up. Again, check in with that core. Make sure it's pulled in. Protect that low back as it's lifted off of the ground. We have five more seconds here, and then we're gonna hold the top of our hip bridge and pulse our knees outwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. Going out. Good job, everyone. Out, out, pulse, pulse. Holding that hip bridge high still. 15 seconds, halfway done. Keep it up. Only one more exercise after this. Two and one. Woo! Okay, next exercise is a frog hip bridge. So open your feet up like a frog or like you're in a butterfly pose. And then we're gonna press through the bottom edges of your feet and up into a frog hip bridge. We get started in three, two, and one. You should feel your glutes a little bit more contracted here. You're not gonna be able to go up as high. Also working those inner thighs as we press our feet together and to the ground. That helps activate our inner thighs. Twenty seconds left. Keep it up. Got three, two, and one. Woo! Okay. Well deserved stretch here. Let's bring in one of those knees, pull it in tight. Nice glute and hip stretch here. Option to roll it around in a circle. We have a nice cool down stretch here. Okay, let's bring that in tight. And then we're gonna take a nice supine twist, twisting that leg over the opposite side of your body. Arms can be out in a T. Make sure you're breathing deep through the stretch. Awesome. Let's bring that back in, give it a tight squeeze. And then we're gonna switch out for our other leg. Oopsies. So give that other knee a nice big tight squeeze. Roll it around in some circles. And we're gonna bring that one across our body to the other side. For a nice supine twist. Take a deep breath here, in through your nose out through your mouth. Bring that in tight. Let's switch out. Nice figure four stretch. So we're gonna bring our one ankle over our knee and then pull that in tight. Option to do this as a pigeon pose in a more prone position. Take a deep breath here. And let's switch out to the other side. Flexing that foot. Have a little bit different of a stretch. Option to wrap your hands around your thigh. Pull that in a little bit tighter. Take a deep breath in and out. Let's rock up to a sitting position. We are going to finish in a butterfly stretch here since we did those lovely frog bridges. We need to stretch them out a little bit too. So folding over this butterfly position, we'll take two big deep breaths here and then this will be our final pose of class. In through your nose, 
out through your mouth. And one more. And release. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming to our Thursday lower body strength. I will see you guys next week. Bye.